Assalamu alaikum all, welcome back to my channel. I pray that you are all in the best of health and iman. If you are new, welcome. My name is Nafisa. I am a Muslim life coach and I support Muslim women with relationship and mental health issues. So if you're interested in being coached in those areas, you can find me over on my website, which I will leave linked in the description box down below. But over here on YouTube, I make Islamic lifestyle as well as Dawah content. So if you're interested in that, then definitely make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. Before all of that, I'm actually a teacher. So if you're interested in online tuition for children between the ages of 8 and 18, then definitely check out my website as well. Today's video, my ladies, I am taking you guys on a positive trip. <laughs> yes, we're having a positive vibe video today because I am just in one of those moods, alhamdulillah. So today we're talking about the benefits of marriage. I know there is a lot of um, difficulty out there when it comes to marriages. Trust me, as a relationship coach, I know. But at the same time as well, there are beautiful marriages and there are people who are enjoying their marriages. There are people who find peace in their marriages. It's not perfect. No, 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 no. It's not perfect because this isn't a relationship between two perfect people. It's a relationship between two imperfect people. And so there are often, you know, bumps along the way, but some marriages are just not as toxic as others. And so I'm here to share with you some of the benefits of marriage so as to improve so as to encourage you sisters to not give up on your search for the right person because with the right person marriage can be a very beautiful and a very enjoyable experience so without any further ado so without any further ado my ladies let's begin the first benefit of marriage that i want to discuss is one that studies have proven to be true um, or that at least there is a high correlation of and that is that married couples tend to live longer I know some of you guys are like that, that, that's not what I'm seeing from my side but listen apparently so married couples tend to live longer and that may be because they have um, a more they may have a more consistent support spousal support right so the husbands have the wife support the wife has the husband support so it makes sense in a sense where when you're in a relationship that you feel cared for and you feel taken care of and it's a healthy relationship and you're at peace then you're less likely to be stressed and you're less likely to then experience the side effects of stress and it may help to you know be a factor in increasing your lifespan so I'm not just saying if you want to get married like do it so you can live longer but I'm saying with the right person I can see how this can actually make a lot of sense but apparently this is what they have found that married couples tend to live longer. The next benefit of marriage is actually a financial one so my point here is there is financial benefit to getting married in what way well if both couples are working they are able to afford a lifestyle that is a lot larger than what one person would be able to afford on their own again i said if both couples are working um even if the wife is only working part-time whilst the husband works full-time the fact that the wife is also bringing in an income just means the financial burden on whoever's respons mainly responsible for that, for that financial burden is a little bit lesser. You know, I am not here for women taking the complete responsibility for their household financial upkeep indefinitely. I am for supporting your husband with maybe a small percentage of managing the home. I am for financially supporting your husband during times when he's down, when he's lost his job, when he's ill, when certain circumstances make it difficult. But I'm definitely not for 100% take on the financial burden on your own. But I definitely also at the same time understand that even when there isn't an issue and a wife is able to contribute some of her income into the home upkeep, it definitely helps the man. It lessens his burden. Let's be honest, the cost of living very high these days is hard for one person to carry all that burden all by themselves. So going back to my point then, being married and, you know, having two income just means for example you may be able to afford to buy a larger house a larger home 
um, you may be able to afford nicer lifestyles. You may be able to afford to pay for your children's um, university fees because you're both putting money or investing money together. Um, so there are certain things that you'll probably be more able to do. You may be able to afford for your family to eat healthier because let's be honest, some of these healthy things aren't cheap because they're harder to, to resource. Um, so you may be able to afford all of those things that just benefits family life um, in general. So that is definitely one of the benefits and not just the benefit that, you know, the woman gets to sit at home doing nothing, put her feet up and her man provides everything. Um, because honestly, I don't think that that is the reality of most marriages these days. Most marriages these days, women are contributing something. I just think this generation of women are just like, we are not doing the 100% carrying of the home no way so our husbands have to work hard the next one is a very important one and i think this is what a lot of women are seeking but they're finding it hard to verbalize and that is that it lessens the feeling of loneliness and it's not just women that feel lonely actually i must say men oftentimes feel lonely sometimes even more than women do but they just don't talk about it as much as women do and being married obviously means you have someone that you share a life with. You may probably share a home with, you know. And so it definitely lessens that feeling of loneliness. And again, I know there are women who are married and they are still feeling alone because the man is not always present and all of that. But in general, again, in a healthy marriage, there is less of that feeling of loneliness because you have someone coming in and out every day. You know, you have someone to talk to. Someone might come home. You know, your partner will come home. How was your day? You have someone to share your burdens with. You have someone to knock ideas off of. You know, you're sharing a life with somebody. And I think that's what a lot of women want. By the way, guys, I have a Patreon um, account where I teach women how to become a wife before they actually become a wife so teaching them qualities of being a wife before they actually get married so if you're not on there you definitely want to hop on it's not free okay <laughs> i had someone ask me if it was free it's not free because i give enough free content here on youtube i can't possibly do any more of that um but yeah if you're willing to make a very small investment in yourself your personal development in your development to become a better woman you definitely want to join us there but i discussed this issue of loneliness this is one of the topics that i'm planning to to make a video about over on that channel but back to my point it does help to reduce loneliness being married and i don't think anyone can um, argue about that if you're in a healthy marriage the next one, of course, is relationship legitimacy. What does that mean? That's just a fancy um, a couple of words, meaning that it makes your relationship seem confirmed, solid. That's it. You know, you are my husband. I am your wife. Everybody knows about it and there is no hiding. There is no question of commitment. When a person decides to marry you, especially if they do it the right way as it should be done in Islam, um even if it's just legally as well it just puts that confirmation stamp on yes we are committed to one another now this isn't just you know we'll see how it goes type of situation this isn't we just live on with each other and maybe it works out and the day doesn't work out we pack our bags and go it takes a lot more to break a marriage than it does to break a regular relationship and so if that person commits to being in that marriage with you then it makes it more legitimate and oftentimes people want that legitimacy of that relationship and i think to write they should personally i i think that's the only way that you give the best of you to a to a man is that he commits to being in that committed relationship with you with all the responsibility that it carries right so it puts that stamp of approval that legitimacy to a relationship and of course marriage is which is going to be my next point the only opportunity for you to have your sexual urges for us Muslims um, and Muslim men um, fulfilled. In Islam, there's no other way that is permissible for you to have your sexual needs you know, fulfilled. It's only within a marriage. That's if you care about your spiritual life, you care about your relationship with God and where your soul is going to be in the afterlife. If you care about all of that, then this marriage thing is the only means for you to have that needs met and I know those are kind of like you know 
lower desires kind of things but you know what we're human and we do have those needs and it's a little bit impractical unreasonable unrealistic to think that someone can just live their entire life and not have that need some manage it really well if they never get married all their lives um some can manage it but it's definitely going to be a challenge and so marriage provides for you an opportunity to have that needs met inshallah the next benefit of marriage is that spouses um depending on what country you live in your spouses may have an automatic right to inherit from you and this is also the case islamically that your spouse has a right to inherit from you automatically um a wife has a right to inherit from her husband's properties when he passes on a husband has a right to inherit his wife's property when she passes on even if they have children and so again it's one of those things where when women are sometimes investing in their husbands you think okay my children will benefit from it and you also know that you know one day if if he was to go before me i would also benefit from it in my old age or if i'm to go before him he will also benefit so when we're investing in one another we know that there is some kind of re, re, you know um return on investment in this immediate life before we talk about you know the hereafter and being rewarded by by god a lot so definitely this is one of the benefits of marriage is you know there is that inheritance part it's a shame though that some people only marry certain people just so that you know they can inherit from them and all of these crazy stuff but marriage is one of its benefits is that you should have that at least because ideally it's something a commitment that you make for life now obviously if things get really bad and you need to go then you need to go but if you stay this is one of the benefits that you will get for staying now i don't know if any amount of money is worth staying in a toxic relationship that makes you sad for the rest of your life but you know if you do stay this is the benefit that you can get but obviously the goal that we will have is that we remain in happy healthy relationships and you know we balance the difficult times with some patience and inshallah this is one of the absolute rewards that can come out of that on the note that I made before about, you know, lower stress levels possibly with married couples, actually there was a study also that had shown that married couples seem to have um, lower cortisol levels, which is a hormone that um, is uh, triggered when a person is stressed. Also, the outcome um, conclusions of those studies was that those patients who were married were far more likely to survive three months after um, their illness than their single counterparts. I know, amazing. But again, it just goes to show that when you have someone who loves and cares for you and you're not so stressed out, you don't come out of you know a traumatic event where there's an illness or whatever, having to think about, oh my God, I'm now on my own, I'm lonely, there's nobody to help me, no one to look after me, no one to give me food, no one to ask me if I'm okay. All that emotional trauma you know, when that is not there, you are far more likely to recover a lot more quickly because your mind is at rest, you have peace of mind, you're happier. And so you're not, your body's not producing all of these crazy um, negative um, reactions inside of it in order to cope with your stress. So because you're peaceful and you're more happy and you're taken care of, and your heart and mind is at ease, then your body is much more likely to put energy into helping you recover whatever's going on inside of you, rather than using that energy and putting you into fight or flight mode. So again, it makes sense that couples who are married tend to survive longer when they experience traumatic events um, compared to people who are um, single. So it's interesting. And again, this doesn't prove that it's 100% true. You know, every case is different there's always an exception to the rule but generally this is just some of the scientific um, findings that have pointed out to the benefit of being ma married versus being single and I don't want you guys to hear this though and feel like see this is why my life as a single person is such a disaster and this is why it's so bad because I also want to tell you that the stage of life that you're in is something God has ordained for you and this is where you as a Muslim this is where you stand out. This is where you cope better. Because actually, interestingly, studies have also found that people who have religion tend to do better with difficult times in than those who don't. Because there's just that belief that there's a higher power 
um, and what that higher power can do for you. And this is where I will have to say to you, trust in Allah. Allah's not going to make you suffer because of a position that he placed you in. It might be difficult in that timing, but know that he will also take care of you. So you may be single, but if you just decide to enjoy your life, if you decide to make the most out of this time, your singleness may be a time that you actually thrive rather than lonely and and uh, you know likely to not survive and likely to pass away young like you will most likely thrive because all of these studies are not looking at other factors that can also contribute to happiness also increase life expectancy and things like that so i just want you guys to know that allah exists allah has the power to override anything you could well be the exception to the rule if you decide that you want to become the exception to the rule by the way you accept the qadr of Allah over you and over your life, okay? I was a single woman for a very long time and um, I'm still alive, <laughs> okay? I became, I got to a stage where I became very content. I pursued life. I enjoyed life. I did a lot of things that I, I'm very proud of myself for having achieved during my single years before I got to the stage of being married and, and having a family. So... I want to encourage you women that this is not to say that your life is so horrible as a single person. This is to say that you should and there is a reason to pursue marriage and you shouldn't give up just because there are so many trashy men out there, you know? Last but most certainly not least is that marriage is a sunnah of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. You know I was going to say this and if I had put this in the beginning you guys would be like, oh we've heard it all before. I have to say it because this is a channel where I promote Islam. Marriage is the sunnah of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, and whilst it is a highly recommended sunnah, we should want to follow the sunnah of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. We shouldn't want to be people who become so pessimistic in life that we fail to see the goodness in life. You know, and I know that's easier said than done because some sometimes you you may have experienced things that you're just like, you know what, I'm done with this marriage thing no more. And if you've tried marriage before, it hasn't worked for you. I can understand a little bit more. But if you've never tried marriage before, don't just listen to what other people are going through and just say that's the reason why I don't want to get married. You must try it for yourself because again, you may be of those people whom Allah decides that marriage is not going to be a test for you. Because surprisingly, marriage is not a test for everyone. Some people their test is their illnesses, some people their test is their family members. Marriage is not always a problem the way society makes it out to be. But unfortunately, sometimes it becomes a problem because us as human beings fail to work on ourselves. Like if we follow the Quran and Sunnah the way we were supposed to marriage would be such a peaceful institution like it would be such a peaceful institution but unfortunately people are not doing what they're meant to be doing and that's the more reason why we have to work on ourselves because even as the women we also have things to work on and the men also have to work on themselves and together collectively we can build happier marriages and happier homes inshallah so those guys are the benefits of marriage what do you think on this topic of benefits of marriage like are you for it? Do you believe that there is such a thing as happy marriages? Do you believe that it's for you? Because if you don't believe that happy home or happy marriage is, is something you can attain, then why? You, you wouldn't even know a good man when he approaches you. Like, you'll always be sceptical and may end up pushing people away. So I think it's very important to have a positive mindset when it comes to marriage, inshallah. So guys, please do not forget to hit that subscribe button and hit the thumbs up button, guys. Some of you guys are like, Nafisa, your, view your videos should have far more views. If they don't have the views, it's because you guys are not engaging enough and you know me. I do my best to respond to you guys in the comment section. So definitely increase the engagement. Talk to me in the comment section down below. Hit the thumbs up button. Hit the subscribe button. Share this video. All of that is what the algorithm, the YouTube algorithm sees as a video people like. And so they recommend it to more people. And that is how people get their views, guys. So please make sure you try that and support me on this channel, inshallah. All right, guys, if you haven't seen this video that I made a couple of days ago, definitely make sure you check it out. And I will speak to you guys there, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum.